Hi, this is Michael Tallis with the Tallis team. I'm standing in front of our rental listing on Jackson Street in Santa Clara. It's part of the uh, Old Town Historic District. Let me turn the camera around and show you the house. This house was built in Victorian era in Queens and style. It was designated as a historic landmark here in Santa Clara. And uh, in front of it, there is actually a plaque to that effect. The house was meticulously restored by its current owners. And when you walk in, I personally feel like I'm back in uh, wine country, entering one of the beautiful bed and breakfast in that area. When you enter, the first thing you see is staircase to the second floor, and we'll go there later. As you enter to your left is a formal living room. Then I would call it family room with a fireplace. And from here, you continue in the kitchen. A large island with a sink. And if you appreciate the level of restoration and kind of, kind of historic details, uh, look at this range, gas range open in the middle. This house has a large pantry. With cabinets. And a wine rack. And there are more shelves here. Here behind the kitchen, there is another room that can be used as an office or even as a bedroom. It's a good sized room with uh, two doors where you can, I don't know, uh, set up an office or use it for entertainment. Back to the family room, and here there is a downstairs bedroom with a Murphy bed. And its own private bathroom. So let's go check second floor.
Turning left, it's a uh, master bedroom. Master bedroom with a parlor. give you a different view. This bedroom attached to the main bathroom in the house. Uh, soaking tub. Double sink vanity. And a stall shower. me and here also in the bathroom you have your laundry so here is panoramic view of this bathroom jacuzzi tub one of the upstairs rooms is set as a dressing room with a lot of closet space And continuing to the end of the corridor upstairs, it's another bedroom. And second upstairs bathroom. Stall shower and a sink here. Just to answer all the questions, there is also a toilet behind the shower. So it's a full bathroom. The house is located on a large uh, 10,000 plus square foot lot. Let me show you the yard. The best way to get to the yard is through the kitchen. Back porch. There is, uh, in the yard, there is space for barbecue, sitting area. Uh, also in the back, there is a cottage, and this cottage is rented, and uh, backyard is shared with the neighbor who lives in the cottage.
blending beds. Fruit trees. And in the back there is a fire pit. The only difference, if you decide to rent this place and going to live in this bed and breakfast, you'll have to make your own breakfast and make your own bed. But it's absolutely charming, beautiful property. Barbecue area. This house has a lot of storage area in the basement. Let me show it. Oh, and by the way, here is a half bathroom. So if you have, um, if you are in the backyard and uh, you don't want to bring dirt, if you're gardening or doing anything here and you don't want to go into the house, there is half bathroom here open to the backyard. So let's go into the basement. So this storage area is available for your stuff. You will be able to use it for storage. You can use this workbench. And there is a little hi hidden treasure here. It's uh, kind of a speakeasy. This area is shared between uh, tenants in the main house and tenants in the cottage. And you're welcome to bring guests here or Just use it for your own pleasure. I hope you like the tour, you enjoyed the house and you would like to see it in person. My contact information and more details about this house are in the description below this video. I'm looking forward to talking to you. Thank you.